happy saturday morning to everybody uh it is saturday we got five well yeah we got another week until the festival starts guys go check it out real quick kentuckysustainableliving.com but uh that's not why i'm on here this morning it's saturday morning and uh you're probably looking at the back going what in the hell is going on here we are doing a greenhouse uh, i've been wanting a greenhouse for a while finally bit the bullet and I uh, told my wife I was like we're gonna build a greenhouse so right now the the plans for the greenhouse is a 14 foot wide and 22 foot long greenhouse uh, <coughs> I know it's not a huge greenhouse we thought about doing a hoop house but I would rather have a greenhouse one that's we're gonna build it it's close to the house build it something that looks really nice and everything and if later on we want a hoop house to do bigger stuff we'll build it uh, down in the front by the food forest. But what we've got so far, the pad of concrete, uh, I went ahead and poured a slab of concrete. The slab of concrete is uh, seven foot wide, 10 foot long. That's gonna be the center slab inside. And then from that edge of the concrete to the edge of the greenhouse, we're gonna put a uh, landscape like creek rock in there for uh, drainage and stuff. But I wanted the center to have a concrete base where if you needed to do anything, uh, it was nice. I've done a little bit of grade work and stuff to kind of halfway level because the, the yard sloped out that way. So I brought in some dirt, loosely packed it, and then did my slab. Uh, that box you see sitting right there is a crate that I had to, uh, some stuff got shipped to me in a crate from a job. And I'm like, man, that'll make an awesome freaking work table to cut off of, put all your crap on there. It's not sitting on the concrete and you're not tripping over it. So I got a four foot by eight foot table to work off of, which is pretty nice. It, it beats sawhorses any day of the week. So I've got that sitting there. Uh, yesterday, Mike Shepard, one of my buddies came over, helped me square everything up. You can see uh, that right there. And then the other one, uh, over there, those two boards, those are your uh, batter boards. Essentially what you do is you set those outside the perimeter of uh, your work area and you run string lines. So we got string lines run uh, all across here and set up for our corners. We made sure everything was squared up. Uh, I think we're uh, 16th out of square and I was like 16th is good enough. It'll get screwed up anyway. So, but uh, I'll spin you around uh, and you can kind of see a little bit better uh these are your batter boards here and we got a screw in there and then lines running across and right there where that intersects is uh one corner perfectly square where i think we're 16th off like i said but uh what i'm going to do is go ahead and uh spray my post spray where my posts go and start working on that uh i'm going to auger everything except for this back hole uh, I'm gonna hand dig it because the water line is close in here and I don't wanna auger through the water line that goes to the shop. So I'm gonna hand dig that one. Uh, everything else, I've marked all the other utilities and we can auger with the tractor, all the rest of that. There's a train coming through, so I'm gonna shut this off and start digging on that hole and I'll get you back here in a few. All right, guys, we've been going at it just a little while. Uh, I had to put a new bit on the uh, auger for the tractor and do some other little crap and stuff like that we've got two posts set uh you can see let me pull it back you can see we got our two front posts set right now braced off that little level uh the little orange thing uh that's on the post that's a post level those things are freaking great they don't get you a hundred percent but they'll get you darn near close so i use it to get the post super close and it gets it real real close and then i'll stick a four foot level on there uh and then go ahead and final shoot it uh we got braces on there you can see the nail pins uh those are metal nail pins left over from my concrete days i've still got tons of those but uh the post might look super tall the uh lumber yard i needed 12 foot post sink these two foot or three foot in the ground or as close to three foot as we can get we've been hitting rock and stuff a bunch because it's rocky as all get out they were out of 12 so they sent me 14s for the same price i'm like that's fine we'll just lop them off and be done the greenhouse is going to have eight foot tall sides uh and then a 412 pitch just a real low pitched roof uh there's no reason to do a real super steep pitched roof on it in my opinion uh 
but we'll lop the post off once we get uh, all our levels and everything done. Uh, the hole that I'm having to dig by hand, we've not had a whole lot of rain, so the ground is just freaking rock hard. So I got it dug six, eight inches in the ground and poured about a gallon of water in there and let it set. So hopefully that'll loosen everything up. And uh, it's already taken about a gallon of water down in that hole. So hopefully that'll loosen the dirt up. Uh, the far corner, I've got it augered and uh, ready to start setting a post on it. My brother's gonna come up and help me because it just takes forever and a day doing this by yourself. But uh, I will tell you, uh, the augers on the tractors, the stupid things will not drill straight and true. It's, it's stupid how much wobble those things have got. Uh, if I had a lot more posts to put in, I would have borrowed my buddy's uh, auger for the Bobcat because you can you can actually get those things to go true plumb and uh, they don't squirrel around on you. There's just so much slop on these tractor augers. It's, it's kind of stupid. Even putting shims in there uh, on your three-point hitch, uh, even shimming it and doing all that stuff, there's just so much slop in there. Uh, nine times out of... 10 it's a sloppy angled looking hole that you have to go ahead and clean and plumb it back up which kind of sucks but it is what it is it's better than digging it all by hand so i'll be back in a little bit and we'll start setting the other post and we'll show you uh we'll spin around there's one corner here's the other corner and you can see it's going to be uh 14 foot wide i'm planning on a set of double doors in the front uh a 5-0 or a 6-0 opening in the front where then that way with that big an opening you don't have to worry about being able to get a wheelbarrow or anything like that in through a 3-0 door so but we'll be back in a little bit this uh just occurred to me before i started uh editing the video and doing this uh i started out putting the uh post in by myself it was a pain in the butt it's you can do it it takes three times as long uh my brother happened to text me and my brother just lives a few miles away but uh he texted me and he's like hey how's it going i was like it sucks and he said i'll be up there in a minute so my brother spent over half the day helping me and i would be nowhere near as far if my brother wouldn't have come up and help me on that but I wanted to make sure that he got some credit for coming and helping me on it. Uh, so now here's the rest of the video. All right, guys, uh, all the posts are set except for one post in the back where the tractor's at because the uh, lumber company bought, brought uh, all my posts and uh, I had to send one back because man, you could have shot an arrow off that thing. It had so much bow in it. But uh, so I sent it back. They're gonna bring another one Monday but uh, the hole's drilled, uh, augered in, it's all ready to go. We had an absolute nasty, massive time with these. Uh, every hole but two that we drilled, we hit rock, uh, which was amazingly fun to get the rocks out of the way. But that's what you get living in this part of Kentucky. There's just rock everywhere. Uh, but we got six, yeah, six of the posts set. We got one more post to set and then let me see if we can get this uh, right here in the front. I've not got my post set yet. I'm going to set four by fours uh, there on each side of the door. And like I said before, I want to find, I'd really like to find an antique glass doors uh, to put in the front and I want to do a double door. So I can't set my post there until uh, I know what rough opening I need for these doors but it'll hold me up just a little bit, but not too bad. But let's give you a shot. There you can see we are 14 foot wide and 22 foot long. So that kind of gives you some scale. We're just gonna do an eight foot ceiling in it. So I gotta trim my post off. Uh, yeah, the posts are awful tall, but the lumber yard just had 14. They didn't have any 12, so they sent me 14s. Same money. I was like, that's fine, I'll cut them off. It's no big deal. Uh, down over at the back, uh, we used a 16 foot just because I had to uh, I had to grade everything off and backfill some to get the site halfway level. So we had about two foot of uh, of uh, packed in dirt. It was still pretty loose packed, and uh, you don't want to set your post in loose packed dirt. So uh, we got a 16 foot there because we brought it on down into virgin ground and uh, augered into the virgin ground. So uh, we needed a longer post for that. 
but uh guys all in all it's coming along good uh i'll probably here in just a second do you a walk around and look at it next step is to get that back post set and then i've got a two by six treated skirt board to go all the way around level with the uh concrete pad and uh do that but uh we'll just kind of show you you can walk around and see maybe the sun will get us real good that's what we've got But that's it. Uh, the darn sun is crazy. Let's walk right over here. Maybe the sun won't be so bad. All right, there you go. There it is. Uh, I hope you like it. Don't forget that uh, our festival is this uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday in Bowling Green, Kentucky. KentuckySustainableLiving.com. And I'll have another video coming out when we get this other post in and then start putting our skirt boards and our purlins in. So hope you like it, like and subscribe, and we'll see y'all later.